Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a typical video for you guys. Now, usually at the, when a brawler comes out, so it's like once a month kind of, I just go crazy at the start of a season. Like when Carl came out, I got him to 1k straight away. Uh, like literally two days when he came out, he was bad. The worst brawler that like ever came out at the time. Um, when Rosa came out, I got her to first. I made a video on that. When Jean came out, I got him to first. And now... I was going to kind of keep up the trend with BB, and then I tried her out, and then I really wasn't enjoying her. I got her to like 460, which put me like third in the world the first day, but then I really wasn't enjoying BB. I don't know why, so then I stepped back and I stopped playing her. But the last couple days, I've absolutely loved playing her. So you can see right now when, when I go to the leaderboards, Brawlers, where is she, BB? I'm actually currently first in the world, one cup ahead of my buddy Ash. And so I'm going to show you guys some gameplay. So it's going to be number one in the world again for the fourth straight new brawler. Let's hop into that first game and let's show you guys exactly how you guys want to play BB. So here we go into our first game. Now that matchmaking was literally six minutes. That was pretty ridiculous. But anyways, that's besides the point. So let's talk about BB and what you want to do. So we're currently playing her in Brawl Ball. And basically the biggest thing you have is your knockback ability. That's the most important thing that you have along with your speed. So basically what you want to do is you want to use your speed and kind of just use yourself as a ball carrier, at least in this one, you guys are going to see, oh, that, that was pretty bad. I don't, don't, don't mind that. That was, that was my bad. They're spinning on me because that was so bad. Um, but yeah, basically what you guys want to do is you guys want to use your speed to your advantage. You see, you're going to see Primo probably do some jump. I don't know, he's like BMing or something. going to see the jump, but I'm just going to knock him back like so and be able to pick up that ball. Now I'm going to have my speed, so I'm going to be able to run up the map. If I see a good pass, obviously I'm going to do so. Like I could pass it to Patchy if I think he's going to have an easier time getting a goal, but I kind of want to redeem myself with that goal. Let's put that first one in the net. So obviously for your super, you don't really want to put it in a line where it's not going to bounce back. Like you don't want to shoot it up there so it's not going to bounce back. So I'm just going to do something. Oh god. Oh, that kind of worked out. Oh, that really worked out. Okay, so we have a pass for the Apache. I don't think he's going to be able to capitalize, though. Alright, I was just going to pass it forward and kill the spike, but that's going to be it. So basically, what you guys want to do, use that speed to your advantage. You're kind of like a ball carrier in this mode. You know, you want to do a lot of the work when passing the ball, as well as your reload speed is super, super fast. So you obviously want to be using that you obviously want to use the ball carrier, like for example if you're a spike, sorry I know I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but for example if you're a spike, you don't want to hold the ball at all because your reload speed takes so ridiculously long that you're just wasting a shot, you're like truly truly wasting a shot. With BB, not at all. You can pick up the ball, pass it as many times as you want, throw it off the wall back to yourself, you're going to get your shot back at like 0.2 of a second, it doesn't matter. Be the ball carrier, use your speed and use your knockback, let's hop into the next mode. So here we go into the first game and we're going to be facing actually some good players that are very familiar to my eyes, at least on ladder. Some guys have been around for a while, so this is definitely going to be a tougher game. So you guys are going to see again, what I'm going to be doing is utilizing my speed. Now I'm going to not exactly grab a lane, I'm going to grab the middle and kind of just try and avoid as many shots as possible and use my speed just to back them up and put them in situations that they don't want to be put in. So you can see I'm going to be able to get a really easy pinch over there. I'm also going to be able to take out him, I'm just going to hit CR7 over there. Hopefully the ball is doing a little bit of work. Yeah, the ball did some work to the save. We're going to knock back CR7. He's two shot for us right now. Hopefully we don't go down. Perfect. We're able to defend, and we're just going to move up and use our speed again to force them to do things. So over there, you can see there's a dynamite. So we're just going to throw our ball in there. Hopefully it has some good bounces. Unfortunately, it didn't really bounce that well. It did get CR7, luckily, but you don't really want those series of bounces. So again, we're going to use that ball. The super is super, super good, and it's important that you try and get as many hits off as possible because it's gonna charge back pretty easily. Again, we're gonna throw that ball out. We're not gonna to do too much with it, but hopefully second best is able to take out that safe. I don't think he's gonna be able to. Yeah, 1%. Okay, never mind. He is gonna somehow be able to. So that's a quick GG over there. Again, most important thing is not just spamming auto, auto aim or trying to hit your shots, but really using your brain, when to use a knockback, how to use your speed effectively. You don't really want to necessarily have him on a lane, uh, have BB on a lane against another brawler, but instead just kind of in the middle surveying the situation, figuring things out. So let's hop into the next mode and let's see what we can do there. So here we go into the next game and now we're going to be playing some gem grab and obviously you don't want to be the mid because you have literally no range. You have like two or three tiles, two and a half, I don't know exactly what it is. So we're just going to bounce over here and get right into the bow's face. And now we're just going to be a disturbance. We're going to kind of just chill in the grass. Again, you're not the strongest brawler. You're not going to be able to just win lanes whenever you want. So your disturbance is actually way more important than you actually doing something. So you don't actually have to get many hits off. 
or something like that, but just your presence being there is really gonna annoy the other team, especially if you have that speed. So we're gonna move up over here. We're just gonna do the same thing over and over. We are pretty tanky, so they're not just gonna be able to take us out. We're just gonna use this bounce over here because it's gonna go into their spawn. Oh, that was a really good ball, actually. We were able to do a lot of damage. Gonna follow up and throw that ball over there. We weren't able to take out the bow, but our ball was able to do a lot. So we did really well with that one over there. And again, we're just gonna cycle this over and over and over. You can see we're applying a lot of pressure. And it's the same thing on every map. You kinda just wanna go into their, not their spawn necessarily, but into their base and just cause as much havoc as you can. Now they're obviously expecting me to go in over there. Uh, the Leon probably should be around here, so we're just gonna help out second best. Just gonna throw this off the wall. It did come back and hit their mid. So now we're over here again. We have that mid possession or that aggressive possession. We're gonna be able to knock back their gene. Again, I'm just gonna push their gene and annoy him as much as I can. You can see how totally focused he is on me. Ooh, second's actually gonna be pulled, which is not very good for us. Okay, now we're in a really interesting situation because we we're actually playing that really, really well until second best got pulled. Let's see if we're able to figure out something over here. We do have Patchy alive. We do have second best pull, so we are not looking too bad. I'm trying to get my ball. Okay, there we go. We we're able to get the ball. Come on, there we go. We we're able to take it out. Put your bear down, Patchy. Put your bear down. Okay, so Patchy will put the bear down. He's probably just going to get pulled, yeah. This is going to be super, super hard for us to get everything out of their spawn. Yeah, second best isn't going to be able to stay alive. This is looking really bad for us. Just trying to get my ball over here so I can allow, not allow their mid to regen. Hopefully Patrick can hit three shots. No, he's not going to be able to, and that's going to be the end of the game. That's actually going to be a loss. Now, obviously it's better if we can win the game, but you guys, I showed you guys effectively how to use BB, and again, you guys know I do include the losses, so GG's to them. They played that one really well. Unfortunately, second best did get pulled, and he kind of got out gened over there. But GG, let's hop into the final thing, which what we're going to be doing is duo showdown, and let's see if we can show you guys how to play there. So here we go into our duo showdown game. Now, obviously, you guys know I'm not god tier level pro at duo showdown. There are other people for that, but I do know a thing or two. So what we're going to be doing is the exact same thing as we're doing in the other modes. You guys can see a trend over here. We're definitely not spitting with you, Crow. What we're going to be doing is use, use a light, bleh, utilizing her speed and knockback to get people into situations that they don't feel comfortable in. And that's how you're going to get the dub. So right here, a little bit of jukes. We're just going to get that Crow really low. Be able to pick up that kill super easily. Now that wasn't too much of the speed, more just me killing a crow. Now right here we have that middle grass. We're gonna be very sneak. And what people do is they stay away. They stay like, if I were to peek into a grass, I'd stay like three or four tiles away. Give it a peek just because no normal brawler can come out and hit me if there is someone there. But BB, they really can. You really can just go ahead and kill them. You'll, let's see if we can get a good example over here. Obviously there's a Leon looking around. Just gonna push him really fast. Gonna be able to get him to knock back. He is somewhere to the right side, so me and Patchy are just gonna come in. Oh. Oh, what a sneak. What a sneaky boy. Really impressed by that move, actually. Oh, never mind. He walked right into Patchy, so I guess that didn't matter. But as you guys saw, I was able to use that speed where normally, obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit that. But I was able to just because of the fact that I was the BB. Now we're able to get one. Hopefully, the Gene gets that knockback. No, okay. We almost got both of them. Gonna move up over here to help Patchy, obviously. Looks like that Gene's gonna die. Patchy does not want those power-ups, I guess. We're just gonna use our speed again to push these guys. Right into the smoke, there that goes. We got the Shelly over here. She's probably thinking about breaking the walls. I don't think it would be the best option for her, though. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty easy kill. We got 12, and you know, that's just a quick kill by Apache, and that's going to be an easy first place. So you guys saw the speed, it really throws people off. It's really hard for people to adjust to the speed, and especially since it's so early on for her coming out, and not a lot of people have her on top of not a lot of people have her star power. So definitely try to utilize that. So if I'm going to summarize the video, what I'm going to say, use her speed, use her knockback as effectively as possible. Think about things before you take your shots. Don't just spam auto aim and try and do as much damage as possible, because it's not how you play this brawler. But besides that, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you guys know, I'm going to Dallas in, I think it's five days for my first ever LAN event for Brawl Stars. So that's super exciting. I'm going to have a lot of videos. And if you guys want to see, if you guys want to see anything live in Dallas, I might take a, I might take like a few pictures, maybe even do a vlog. I don't know yet. 
Still trying to decide on that one, so let me know what you guys want to see. But besides that, I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.